In the sacred scriptures of the Bible, numerous prophecies foretell the culmination of human history and the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Among these prophecies, one stands out as the greatest sign heralding the coming of the rapture, the event where believers are taken up to meet the Lord in the air. This sign is revealed in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 32 to 33. It says, Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. In this passage, Jesus himself provides a profound analogy, likening the signs of the times to the budding of a fig tree, signaling the approach of summer. Just as the appearance of tender twigs and leaves indicates the imminent arrival of a new season, the occurrence of specific events signifies the imminent return of Christ. To comprehend the significance of this prophecy, it is essential to understand the context provided in the preceding verses of Matthew 24. Jesus seated on the Mount of Olives, was responding to his disciples' inquiries regarding the signs of his coming and the end of the age. He outlined a series of events including wars, famines, earthquakes, and persecution, collectively referred to as birth pains. As these signs intensify and converge, the analogy of the fig tree comes into focus. The budding of the fig tree represents the culmination of these signs, symbolizing a final generation that witnesses the fulfillment of prophecies leading up to the rapture and the end times. This prophetic revelation gains further clarity when juxtaposed with the words of Jesus in Luke 21 verse 29 to 31. He told them this parable, Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Here, Jesus expands the analogy beyond the fig tree to encompass all the trees, emphasizing the universality of the signs preceding his return. Just as the changing seasons are evident to all who observe the natural world, the signs of the end times are discernible to those who heed the words of Christ and remain vigilant in their faith. The convergence of these signs, wars, famines, earthquakes, persecution, and the restoration of Israel, symbolized by the burden of the fig tree, serves as a powerful indication of the nearness of Christ's return. It is a divine reminder to believers to be spiritually prepared and to share the message of salvation with urgency and conviction. Furthermore, the Apostle Paul reaffirms the imminence of Christ's return in his letter to the Thessalonians, highlighting the suddenness and unexpectedness of the rapture. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, then destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. Read 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2 to 3. Paul's analogy underscores the urgency of readiness and underscores the importance of discerning the signs of the times. Particularly, the prophetic revelation of the budding fig tree as a prelude to the imminent return of Christ. In conclusion, the greatest sign before the rapture is encapsulated in the prophetic analogy of the budding fig tree as explained by Jesus himself. This sign serves as a divine marker, signaling the convergence of prophetic events and the nearness of Christ's return. As believers, it is incumbent upon us to heed the words of Christ, 
discern the signs of the times and remain steadfast in our faith as we eagerly anticipate the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior. So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's Word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.